terms of uh, because basically any startups in two is in two races. Number one, there is what we call the technology arms race, and then the other one because you've got other ones breathing down your neck or nearby or been in the market a while. And then you've got the actual market share arms race, which is a sales race. Um, so, uh, where do you think you're playing best, or can you tell me a little bit about both of those and um, how you're leaning into that? Yeah. So one of the best parts about OmniKey is I know you're very familiar with social media marketing, Jeff, is we've been running our own ads and using our own product for a couple of years right now. So Mm -hmm. right now we are generating a crazy amount of leads from digital marketing plus PR. So we are growing market share through running digital ads and bringing people to OmniKey, running a lean sales team right now, because like I mentioned back back in the day, I, I ran an outbound sales team where we were calling and emailing people. Today, you can run digital ads, reach millions. They come to you and then you figure out how to further increase conversions down funnel. Like how do I perform a better, how do I give a better demo? How do I keep the sale moving forward faster? Like that's really our where we're moving as quickly as possible right now is fine tuning those other motions and then figuring out who exactly is our ideal customer profile and where should we not stray out because it's distracting us? Yeah. And here's the thing about marketing is that uh, you can have all the best ideas in the world, how you think the customer is going to react or how much they're going to spend. Um, But when you go to market, the market will either hit you in the face or it'll embrace you. um, And you can spend a lot of money on advertising and it's just going to continue to be a bottomless void money pit. So, uh, but you're selling a maybe a higher ticket item, aren't you, in terms of uh, monthly subscription access to you know creative you know, resources, human humans in the row. So, are you constantly analysing uh, your data to work out what works and what doesn't, so you can make sure that you make you spend a dollar and get two dollars back? Yeah. So that's the beauty of having data that's performance driven in real time. So we're constantly looking at that data. And then also the benefit about a a startup is we're very dynamic with our pricing. As we continue to launch product features and stuff, we can move really, really quickly with our pricing. Right now, we are a a great price value. I don't know any other company I've seen out there that has a price value of what we offer right now with creative, even a customer success rep, full analytics and generative AI. um, No one else is in, in the ballpark for that. Now we're right. trying to find that that right medium of finding as many customers as we can, but also you know being a very profitable company. <laughs> right, and you're and also exactly so. And you're also trying to find out what is your is it is it going to be enterprise? Uh, right. it can chase it can chase the bottom end, uh, which are the ones that don't have money, um, or you can chase the top end, the ones with money. Um, maybe sits in the middle, but I'll be interested. I'll be interested to see how you go over time in terms of what, where you land, or whether there's two or three markets. And so, yeah, it's really fascinating in terms of using data to try and work out who's my customer, how much will they pay, uh, what works and what doesn't. 